Hey everybody, it's Wes here and Brian from Perfect Circuit and today we are really excited to introduce you to two brand new synthesizers from 1010 Music, the Nano Boxes. That's right, these fully featured compact synthesizers are exactly what you need if you are a producer on the go or just don't have much space at home. We have two options here. The first one is the Lemon Drop in this very bright yellow. It's a granular synthesizer. The second one is this fiery red Fireball that is a wavetable synthesizer. Well, let's get you folks really acquainted with these devices and let's hear them. Brian's gonna share some sweet jams he's made on the Lemon Drop and I'm gonna share a few spicy ideas I've cooked up with the Fireball. So let's take a listen. In this first patch, we're going to look at the Lemon Drop as a keyed instrument. Uh, we're going to be feeding a MIDI controller into the lemon drop and creating an interesting jungle-like sound. In this next series of patches, we're going to explore the Lemon Drop as a live granular effects processor. First, we're going to look at just the Lemon Drop processing this bass guitar here. Then we're going to slowly add a second granular source with the beads, and then a third granular source with this app right here. As you can see, there's nothing sour about this lemon drop. In a small form factor, this compact device is perfect for anyone who wants to dabble in granular synth 
or for a producer or performer who wants to slip this into their bag and have a very full featured, powerful unit that really fits in the palm of your hand. You can plug in a MIDI device and treat it like a more traditional synthesizer, or you can plug in live audio input and using the onboard grid keys, you can actually trigger stuff without having to use an external controller. The Fireball and the Lemon Drop share almost the same set of features, with the primary difference being the audio engine. The Fireball being a wavetable synthesizer, the Lemon Drop being a granular audio processor. So let's take a look at what 1010's crammed into these tiny little boxes. So if we take a look at the interface for the Fireball, it's going to be the exact same as the Lemon Drop, except for the Lemon Drop is going to give you granulars and the Fireball is going to give you wavetables up here. So we'll see our top two wavetables, our two filters, envelopes, LFO sequence, and your effects. If you want to change anything, you just simply click on the portion of the screen that you want to affect and then scroll through with this bottom knob controls your parameters, the top knob controls your selections, and if you don't want to use those knobs, most things you can control with the touch and gestures. The touch screen on these devices has been used to its maximum potential, allowing you to dial in settings with your fingers or make gestural movements for your musical motifs. This is a super huge aspect of these devices, being that they're so small, the ability to gesturally and tactilely control different aspects of your sound makes them really fun and really interactive and it leads to new sounds and movements that you probably couldn't achieve with standard knob and slider type synthesizers. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of these synthesizers. We've got two filters, two envelopes, an LFO, a sequencer, an effects engine, and you've got a little XY pad here that you can assign whatever you'd like to, as well as a nice little keyboard. On the outside of the case here, you've got a little micro SD card slot that holds all the firmware, line input, output, analog clock, TRS MIDI in and out, and a USB-C port for power. Here's a jewel for scale. It's about the length of a jewel. <laughs> if you can fit a jewel in your pocket, you can fit a fireball in your pocket. Most of these components function exactly like you would imagine them to. Filters, filtering, envelopes, enveloping. But what's really interesting, in my opinion, is the amount of modulation possibilities that 1010 has crammed into these boxes. On any of the screens, if you see these little dots to the right of the parameter, you can go in there and you've got access to three different sources of modulation here. We can pop up there and what we'll notice is, is that there are a ton of options here. You can assign things to the XY pad, any envelope, LFOs, sequencers, and on top of all that, it has one of the easiest MIDI learn functionalities that I've ever used. Let's take a look at how easy this is. All you gotta do to set up a MIDI learn is click learn, move the parameter, and bam, there it is. This is how MIDI learn should work, and it's beautiful, it's amazing. Knocked it out of the park, 10 out of 10. 1010 has put a lot of thought into making these devices as versatile and usable as possible. The Fireball in particular features eight voices of polyphony. You can have two active wavetables at any time, and just for good measure, they threw in just a standard style digital oscillator, just for fun. This additional digital oscillator can be used for subs or whatever you so choose. There's a great noise setting on there and it can even be tuned independently of the other two wavetables. Wavetable synthesis has always been an incredibly interesting form of synthesis that yields really interesting timbres and amazing tones that are really hard to get from other styles of synthesis or other workflows. So I'm really excited to see what folks do when they get their hands on this adorable little wavetable synthesizer. I see the Fireball and the Lemon Drop fitting really well into portable musician setups, 
folks who want polyphony but don't want to drop a whole bunch of money for some big fat analog synthesizers, or just anybody with maybe a few pocket operators or Bastel battery powered devices that want a little bit of polyphony. Over the course of the past month playing with the Lemon Drop, they have implemented constant updates, and the most interesting of which happened recently, and we felt the urge to showcase a little bit more of the Lemon Drop. As you can see, this screen 
now features a nice waveform and as you play, you have very nice little indicators that show you which portion of the waveform is being played, uh, which is being uh, grained, seeded, if you will, and uh, it just is a delight. Considering 1010 Music's track record for constant updates and exceptional customer support when it comes to their products, you can expect more updates like this in the future and throughout the lifetime of the Lemon Drop. We, for one, are very interested in seeing how much they can squeeze into this little lemon drop. All right, well, that was a blast. We are super excited how these new devices are gonna find their ways into people's workflows, as well as using them in an ecosystem with the rest of the 1010 devices. With the blue box and the black box, you've now got a mixer, a sampler, and two very capable synthesizers. Sour and Spice are a classic combination, and so are these two synthesizers. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Shall we? We shall. Go. That was beautiful. Good. <laughs>